Okay, tuloy, tuloy, tuloy natin yung, corp yung corporation. Nandun na tayo sa stockholders and members. Stockholders and members! Putang... Uh, okay, the revised corporation code provides that the stockholders are entitled to dividends pro rata based on the total number of shares that they may own. So, yun yung tinatawag nating proprietary right. Accordingly, stockholders are entitled to proprietary rights such as right to receive dividend, yan, right of appraisal, right to inspect corporate books, and the right to vote. Okay. So, mamaya susubukan nating uh, himay-himay yung mga right-right na yan. <laughs> okay. Doctrine of equality of shares Doctrine of equality of shares so Under the revised corporation code All stocks are presumed equal With the same privileges and liabilities Provided that the articles of incorporation Is silent on such differences Okay, so Equal and same privileges daw yan kapag ka walang distinction, walang differences na sinabi yung articles of incorporation. Okay, proprietary rights. Ano naman tong mga proprietary rights at right to dividends, right to inspect, preemptive right and the right of first refusal. Tingnan natin to. Right to dividends, alam na natin 'yan. And sabi rito, entitled sila to dividends pro rata based on the total number of shares that they may own. Right to inspect. Ano ba to? So, right to inspect. As it stands, even the insignificant holding of only 0.001% of a corporation's stock holding qualifies the shareholder to inspect. So, basta may porsyento ka kahit gano'ng kaliit yan, stockholder ka kahit gano'ng kaliit, you have the, the, the shareholder has the right to inspect. Corporation has granted to all stockholders the right to inspect the corporate books and records and in so doing has not required any specific amount of interest for the exercise of the right to inspect. So, itong right to inspect mo, syempre, para sa uh, kailangan yung purpose mo to inspect is always just. So ano ba yung mga just purposes na yun? Number one, to ascertain the financial condition of the company or the proprietary of dividends. <clears throat> Number two, value of the shares of stock for sale or investment. Number three, whether there, are, there has been mismanagement. Number four, in anticipation of shareholders meetings to obtain mailing list of shareholders to solicit proxies or influence voting and number five to obtain information in aid of litigation as to corporate transactions so yun yung limang uh, purposes under the jurisprudence the supreme court held that among the improper purposes to justify denial of the right to inspection ito ito yun Uh, obtaining of information as to business secrets to aid competitor. Ayan, bawal yan. Pwede, pwede kang i-deny na mag-inspect. Number two, to secure business prospects or investment or advertising lists. Pwede kang i-deny na mag-inspect. And number three, technical, to, to find technical defects in corporate transactions in order to bring strike suits for purposes of blackmail or extortion. Sabi ng ating Korte Suprema, kahit stockholder ka pa, pwede kang uh, i-deny. Justified ang denial sa iyong pag inspect Okay, magtungo tayo sa letter C na, na, na okay, under proprietary rights, yung preemptive right. Ayan. Preemptive right. Ano ba ito? So, under the Revised Corporation Code of the Philippines, preemptive right is the preferential right granted to all stockholders of a corporation to subscribe to all issues or disposition of shares of any class in proportion to their respective share holding. Okay. Newly issued securities that an investor agrees or intends to, to buy prior to the official issue date. 
Yun yung subscribe ha. Ulitin nga natin, nalito ako eh. Doon siya mga guhit eh. Pangit ng ballpen eh. Ulitin natin. Preemptive right is a proprietary right. Yan yung letter C natin. Right to dividends, right to inspect, preemptive right. Preemptive right under the Revised Corporation Code of the Philippines is the preferential right granted to all stockholders of a corporation to subscribe to all issues or disposition of shares of any class in the proportion of their proportion to their respective shareholdings. Alba mo na ibig sabihin ng subscribe. Kasi preferential right granted to them to subscribe, sabi, to all issues or disposition. Ang, sub, ang pagsusubscribe, ito yung newly issued securities that an investor agrees or intends to buy prior to the official issue date. So may karapatan ka kung may bagong securities, kung may bagong issues or dispositions of shares, eh, may karapatan ka mauna doon bilang isang stockholder. The preemptive right allows a shareholder to purchase shares issued by the company in the future to preserve the same prorated equity ownership in the company. Ayun, para hindi mabawasan yung share mo. To preserve your prorated equity ownership. Ayan. And lastly, yung pro, sa letter D o ikaapat na proprietary right natin, yung right of first refusal. Right of first refusal is the right given to a shareholder to purchase a selling shareholder's shares. Okay, ano naman yung remedial rights of stockholders? Remedial rights of stockholders. They can institute, okay, they can institute derivative suit to redress wrongs committed against the corporation or to protect or indicate corporate rights whenever the officials of the corporation refuse to sue or are the ones to be sued or hold control of the corporation. So, yan ang remedial rights ng isang stockholders. May karapatan silang mag-institute ng derivative suit. Ano ba itong derivative, derivative suit na ito? Type of suit in which corporation asserts a wrong against it and seeks uh, redress or six uh, ano siguro to hindi ko na mabasa kasi naghanap sila ng solusyon yon redress of wrong committed to the corporation hirap magsalita no sana mabayaran man lang ako dito sa put tangin ng babasa-basa <laughs> okay intra corporate dispute intra corporate dispute ano ba ito is one which arises between a stockholder and the corporation or among the stockholder involving internal affairs of the corporation. Okay. That is intra-corporate dispute. So, ano lang to? Corporate officers lang. Kasi it arises between a stockholder and the corporation or among the stockholders involving internal affairs eh, ng corporation. Okay. Okay, magtungo na tayo sa capital structure ng corporations. So, shares of... Sana pwede magsalita ng mahina yung boses mo, no? Tapos maririnig. Pero pag normal na ganito, walang makakarinig siya. Kailangan natin ilakas. Yan talaga kapag ka-vlogger ka na ano eh. <laughs> okay, capital structure of corporation. Okay, yung shares of stock. Ano ba yung nature ng shares of stock? So, Philippine law treats shares of stock in a corporation as personal property. Similar to other person personality, yeah. Similar to other personality. May ganang salita pala, no? Personal property. The so similar to other personality the owner of the property can sell a sign transfer or convey his property to another as he wishes. This is an attribute and principle of ownership which cannot be taken away. So, yun ang nature ng shares of stock. Since para siyang personal property, pwede mo siyang ilipat sa iba, pwede mo siyang ibenta. I dispose. Consideration for shares of stock. Stocks shall not be issued for a consideration less than uh, the par or issued price thereof. Consideration for the issuance of stock may be any 
or a combination of number one, actual cash paid to the corporation, number two, property intangible or intangible necessary or convenient for its use, and lawful purposes at a fair valuation equal to the par or issued value of the stock issued, number three, labor performed for or service services actually rendered to the corporation, number four, uh, previously incurred indebtedness of the corporation, number five, amounts transferred from unrestricted retained earnings to stated capi capital, and number six, outstanding shares exchanged for stocks in the event of reclassification or conversion. Okay. <clears throat> so, yun yung mga consideration mo para makakuha ka ng shares of stock o kung ibibenta yung shares of stock. Actual cash, yun, yung mga nabanggit natin. Ano yung watered stock? Watered stock, watered stock, watered stock is prohibited by law. So, under the revised corporation code, stocks shall not be issued for a consideration less than the par or issued price thereof. Okay. Okay. Situs of the shares of stock. Ano ba ito? Lugar of the shares of stock. Ganun ba ito? Situs of the shares of stock. So, under the, jurispr <laughs> under the jurisprudence, the Supreme Court held that Shares or corporate stock be taxed at the domicile of the shareholder and also at that of the corporation which which the taxing state has created and controls. And income may be taxed both by the state where it is earned and by the state of the recipient's domicile, protection, benefit, and power over the subject matter are not confined to either state. Pangit itong pagkakabasa basa ko kasi ang pangit na sulat eh. Yung ulitin natin! Puro kasi mga dahilan, dahilan! Basahin na lang. Okay. Situs of the shares of the stock. Under the jurisprudence, the Supreme Court held that shares or corporate stock be taxed at the domicile of the shareholder and also that of the corporation which the st taxing state has created and controls. And income may be taxed both by the state where it is earned and by the state of the recipient's domicile protection benefit. And power of the, over the subject matter are not confined to either state. Ayan siya. Okay, uh, classes of shares of stock. Ano ba ito mga classes na ito? Ang dami-dami. Okay, merong non-voting, par value, no par value, prepared shares, founder shares, ready bubble shares, what we shares. Ah, sige, isa-isahin natin. The shares in stock corporations may be divided into classes or series of shares or both. A corporation may further classify its shares for the purpose of ensuring compliance with constitutional or legal requirements. Okay. So, number one, non-voting shares. Ito yung shares na deprived of voting rights under the Articles of Incorporation. So, nakalagay siya Article Corporation na wala siyang karapatang bumoto. Number two, yung par value shares. Ano to? Ito yung shares or, or, or series of shares that may or may not have par value. Banks, trust, insurance, printed companies, public utilities, building and loan associations, other 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 corporations authorized to obtain or access funds from the public are prohibited from issuing no par value sh shares of stocks so pag kayo corporation mo meron kang authorized ng batas to access funds uh, from the public are prohibited pinagbabawal from issuing itong par uh, no par value shares of stocks that is a side note Kasi magta-transition tayo. Number three, no par value. Ito nga yung pinagbabawal. No par value shares must be issued for a consideration of at least 5 pesos per share. It shall be treated as capital and not available for dividends. Dito, ito ra yung pinagbabawal daw ito nga, di ba? Pinagbabawal yung mga banko, ganyan. 
from issuing no par value shares of stocks. Number four, preferred shares. Preferred shares may be given preference in the distribution of dividends and distributions of corporate assets in case of liquidation. Must always be issued with a stated par value. You know, preferred shares. Okay. Founders shares. Founder shares may be given certain rights and privileges not enjoyed by the owners of other stocks. Siyempre, founder kay. Where the exclusive right to vote and be voted for in the election of directors is granted, it must be for a limited period not to exceed five years from the date of incorporation. So yung mga founder shares, pwede silang magkaroon ng exclusive right to vote and be voted for. In the, in the election of directors. Pero, it must be for a limited period not to exceed five years from the date of incorporation. Exclusive rights shall not be allowed if it will violate the anti dummy law and the Foreign Investments Act of 1991. Yan. So, yun yung side note natin regarding founder shares. Number six, redeemable shares. Redeemable shares may be issued when expressly provided in the Articles of Incorporation. There are shares which may be purchased by the corporation from the holders of such shares upon the expiration of a fixed period. At ano naman ang uh, treasury shares? It is shares of stock which have been issued and fully paid for but subsequently reacquired by the issuing corporation through purchase, binili niya ulit, through redemption, donation, or some other lawful means. Such shares may again be disposed of for a reasonable price fixed by the board of directors. Treasury shares. Yan yung acquired shares. Okay, on a side note, on a side note, very important, Yung trust fund doctrine. Kasi diba napag-usapan na natin kanina yung uh, ano nga ba yun? Ano tayo pinag-usapan kanina eh? Yung pagkakaroon ng, ng trust fund dahil hindi pwedeng basta-basta isa uli yung ano, yung yung uh, stocks na isang stockholder kung may liability, diba? Yan sabi. So, under the Trust Fund Doctrine in Corporation Law, an incorporator's capital investment may not be returned because it will impair the corporation's ability to pay creditors. So, yun. Side note lang ulit. <coughs> okay, Certificate of Stock. So, pag-usapan muna natin yung nature of Certificate of Stock. Yan, tapos yung negotiability requirements for valid transfer of stocks. So, sa usaping certificate of stock, letter A, nature of certificate of stock. It is a written instrument. Yun nga, yung certificate of stock. It is a written instrument signed by the proper officer of a corporation stating or acknowledging that the person named therein is the owner of a designated number of shares of stock. Yun ang nature niya. Ano naman ang negotiability requirements for valid transfers of stocks? So under the jurisprudence, the Supreme Court held that a stock certificate is not negotiable because the holder thereof takes it without prejudice to such rights or defenses as the registered owners or transfer, transferor's creditor may have under the law, except insofar as such rights or defenses are subject to the limitations imposed by the principles governing estopel. So under the jurisprudence, the Supreme Court held that the requirements for a valid transfer of stock are number one, the certificate of stock must be duly endorsed by the transferor or his legal representative. Number two, there must be delivery of the stock certificate. And number three, to be valid against third parties, the transfer must be recorded in the books of the corporation. Yeah. Under Section 64 of the Revised Corporation Code, no certificate of stock shall be issued. To a, subs to a subscriber until the full amount of his subscription together with the interest and expenses in case of delinquent shares, if any, is due 
has been paid. Hirap na malaking ngipin, sumasabit yung labi pag nag english na. Lost or destroyed certificates of stock. Oh. So, pagka uh, lost or destroyed certificate of stock, number one, an affidavit of loss stating the circumstances of the loss. Number two, the stockholder must have the notice of loss published in a newspaper of general circulation once a week for three consecutive weeks. Yan. Yan a requirement. Ay, putang na. Atumba naman tong putang inang to. Sorry, nakalive pala. Maramara. <clears throat> okay, dissolution of a corporation in in the Philippines under the corporation called the Philippines could be involuntary upon the Securities and Exchange Commission's complaint. So, pwede siya madissolve, mad, madissolve no? Yung isang corporation. Upon SEC's complaint coupled with a prescribed process of notice and hearing or voluntary based on the application of the corporation with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay. Uh, ano to? Differences. Ano ba to? Dif, dif was? O yung voluntary dissolution naman. Uh, yung, yung voluntary dissolution, no creditors are affected. Ah, hindi. Iba-ibang uri ng dissolution. Ulitin natin. Uh, merong iba-ibang uri ng voluntary dissolution. Merong voluntary dissolution where no creditors are affected. Meron namang voluntary dissolution where creditors are affected. And dissolution by shortening corporate term. Yun yung mga uri ng uh, voluntary dissolution ng isang korporasyon. O, ano na may requirements ng Securities and Exchange Commission for Dissolution of Corporations in the Philippines? Number one, director certificate, which is an authorized document signed by majority of the directors and corporate secretary certifying the amendment of the Articles of Incorporation, shortening the corporate term, the votes of the directors and stockholders thereto, and the date and place of the stockholders meeting. Number two, amended Articles of Incorporation. Number three, Audited financial statements as of date of the stockholders meeting approving dissolution or any date thereafter. Number four, list of creditors, if any, and their consent or certification as to non-existence of creditors. If there are creditors and their consent was not secured, the application should be in the form of a petition to be filed with the Office of General Counsel of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Number five, BIR tax clearance. Number six, Publisher's affidavit of the publication of the dissolution of the corporation. So once a week for three consecutive weeks yung publisher's affidavit. Ah, yung, yung publishing. Yung, yung pagpapub- it will be published uh, once a week for three consecutive we- weeks. Tapos may publisher's affidavit ng publication. And number seven, endorsements or clearances from other government agencies if applicable. Okay, so other corporations. Ano, ano ba yung mga other corporations? Closed corporation, non-stock corporation, one-person corporation, foreign corporation. Okay, yung closed corporation is one whose articles of incorporation provides that all the corporations issued stock of all classes exclusive of treasury shares shall be held or record, shall be held of record by not more than a specified number of persons not exceeding 20. Hindi lalagpas ng dalawang pang tao. <clears throat> Non-stock corporation may be formed for charitable, religious, educational, professional, cultural, fraternal, literary, scientific, social, civic, civic service, or similar purposes such as trade, industry, agricultural, and similar chambers, or any combination thereof. One person corporation naman, siyang innovation in the revised corporation code, is, isa siyang innovation in the revised corporation code for small and medium enterprises. A one person corporation is a corporation with a single stockholder who can only be a natural person, trust, or estate. As an incorporator, the quote-unquote trust 
does not refer to a trust entity but the subject being managed by the trustee. A foreign corporation man, is a corporation organized, authorized, or existing under the laws of any foreign country. So, foreign corporation may either be a resident corporation, ito yung engaged in trade or business in the Philippines, yun yung mga resident corporations, or a non-resident corporation, foreign corporation ito na not engaged in trade or business in the Philippines. So, under the Foreign Investments Act, a foreign corporation that is doing business in the Philippines, doing business, ah, basta doing business, must obtain a license for the purpose from the Philippine Securities and Exchange Commission. The license must be obtained by registering a Philippine branch office or representative office of the foreign corporation with the SEC. Ano yung requirements niya? Secure the necessary registration certificates from, from the appropriate government agencies para bigyan siya ng uh, license. On a side note ulit, nabanggit na natin kanina na, ano ba yung side note natin? Pag hindi naman doing business dito sa Pilipinas, hindi naman kailangan ng license. Na side note natin yung kanina eh. Ayan o. Oh. Ayan o, oh, ito o. Oh. Under the law on investments, mere investment as a shareholder by a foreign entity in a domestic corporation or having a nominee director to, to represent its interest in such corporation is not considered doing business, which means hindi kailangan ng license. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ano naman ang resident agent? So may kinalaman pa rin to sa ano, foreign corporations. Resident agent is an individual or corporation appointed by a foreign corporation to receive summons and other legal proceedings served to or against the foreign corporation's local entity in the Philippines on behalf of the corporation. So, personality to sue and suability. Right to sue. Okay. Right to sue. Number one, if the foreign corporation is transacting or doing business in the Philippines with a license, it has the right to sue within the jurisdiction of the Philippines. May karapatan siyang mangsu, mangkaso. Number two, if it is transacting or doing business without a license, it cannot sue. Kasi nga, kailangan pag doing business ka rito, kailangan may business license ka. Hindi ka pwedeng mangkaso, you cannot sue. If you're a foreign corporation transacting or doing business without a license. Number three, if it is not transacting or doing business in the Philippines, it can sue even if it is not possessed of any license. Kasi hindi naman siya nagtatransak or doing business in the Philippines. So, yun yung karapatan niyang mangkaso. Ano naman yung right to be sued? If it is transacting or doing business in the Philippines with license, pwede siyang mangkaso, pwede siyang mangsu. If it is transacting or doing business without a license, pwede rin siyang makasuhan. Okay? So, ulitin natin. Yung, yung foreign corporation transacting or doing business in the Philippines with license and without ay pwedeng makasuhan. Ang pinag-usapan pinag lang natin ng una, pwede lang siyang, siya naman namang kaso kapag, meron, kapag uh, conduct transacting or doing business siya rito, may lisensya siya. At kapag uh, wala naman siyang ginagawa dito, it's not transacting or doing business, pwede siyang mang kaso. Pwede lamang siyang kasuhan doon naman sa pareho. Transacting or doing business with license at yung wala. Ay, hindi to ka eh. May ginagawa ka rito eh. So, pwede kang kasuhan. If foreign corporation is not transacting or doing business in the Philippines, it cannot be sued for lack of jurisdiction. O, yun. Wala naman siyang ginagawa rito. Hindi mo siya pwedeng kasuhan yung foreign corporation. Ayan. Okay. Hopefully, malina. Minsan magulo ako eh. Merger. 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 is a situation where two or more corporations unite 
one corporation which retains its corporate existence, absorbing or merging in itself the other, which disappears as a separate corporation. It is the absorption of one corporation by the other which survives. So, yung surviving corporation, inabsorb niya. Like, for example, yung BPI yata, may balita, hindi ako sure ha. BPI, inabsorb niya yata yung Robinson's Bank. Ang matitira doon yung BPI. Yun. That's much. Consolidation happens when two or more corporations unite. Nagkambalsani, bi mga corporations. Giving rise to a new corporate body and dissolving the constituent corporations which cease to exist as separate corporations. Kinuwari nagsama-sama si Robinsons, SM, at saka yung uh, Mall of Vitug. Charot. Okay, ano naman yung epekto ng merger and consolidation? Ito mahalaga to eh. <clears throat> Effects of merger and consolidation. Letter A. Constituent corporation shall become a single corporation which in which in case of murder murder merger masabit yung ano kay ngipin ulitin natin effects of merger and consolidation letter a consist constituent corporations shall become a single corporation which in case of merger shall be the surviving corporation designated in the plan of merger and in case of consolidation shall be the consolidated corporation designated in the plan of consolidation yung epekto niya letter B the separate existence of the constituent corporations shall cease except that of the surviving or the consolidated corporation tuwata si kilaway ko letter C the surviving or the consolidated corporation shall possess all the rights, privileges, immunities, and powers and shall be subject to all the duties and liabilities of a corporation organized under this code. That is under the revised corporation code. Letter D. The surviving or the consolidated corporation shall possess all the real or personal property, receivables, due, or on whatever account, including subscriptions to shares and other choices in action and every other inherent... Uh, and ito. and every other interest of belonging to or due to each constituent corporation shall be deemed transferred to and vested in such surviving or consolidated corporation without further act or deed and letter E or number 5 na epekto niya the surviving or consolidated corporation shall be responsible for all the liabilities and obligations of each constituent corporation as though such surviving or consolidated corporation had itself incurred such liabilities or obligations. And any pending claim, action, or proceeding brought by or against any constituent corporation may be prosecuted by or against the surviving consolidated corporation. The rights of creditors or liens upon the property of such constituent corporations shall not be impaired by the merger or consolidation. As a side note, holders of non-voting shares shall be entitled to vote in case of merger or consolidation of the corporation with another corporation or other corporations. 